Welcome back to another Sims 4 High School Years Rags to Riches video. Today we're starting off with a room renovation. So last time you'll know that we did up Brianne's room. Today we're finally doing up Addison's room because this was also kind of just a bit of a mess. We never really finished it. We kind of initially designed it when it was smaller, but then we changed the layout and everything just got kind of weird. So we're sort of stripping it all out. We're changing some of the walls around. We're moving that big bathroom because I figured we don't really need a bathroom in the hallway considering every single bedroom has a bathroom of their own so there's no point having a shared bathroom in the hall when we have you know shared bathrooms downstairs for like guests or something so all the bedrooms upstairs are now en suites which I think is great uh, this little hallway entrance here to the main bedroom I just thought I put a few things in it as like I guess I could have made it part of their bedroom like just extended it but there you know Kevin and Reginald's bedroom is kind of already big and kind of already doesn't need anything else. So I was like, let's just make this part of the hall. We'll put a few little things on here, a little table, a little chair and all that and a rug. And I think that's quite nice. We also do finish off the main landing hallway today because that's kind of just been empty. Like I, I really like, this is what I kind of really like about these Let's Play houses is they start off in a certain way. Then as we go, we finally evolve and furnish and change them how we need. So I think it turned out pretty well in the end. Um, so here I'm dividing up the back of the room into a walk-in wardrobe, smaller than Brienne's because they're not as much of a fashionista as Brienne is. So the wardrobe is smaller, but I think it's still a good size. And then next to it, we have the ensuite bathroom, which is still a pretty good size as well. Three by three. I think that'll work quite nicely. So for the Addison's wardrobe here, I also wanted it to feel a little bit more just thrown together. Like there's just a few racks that they've gotten and putting clothes up on. It's not as well built as uh, Brienne's is. Oh, and by the way, the all this, the move object stuff I did last time in Brienne's wardrobe, uh, it's just getting messed up when I, it's just moving some walls and wallpaper. It's just being messed up. It's kind of annoying. So <laughs> some of the stuff from hers, I think does disappear, but uh, I did my best. Anyway, Addison's, I think it's still really nice. Like it's great. It's got clothes stacked all the way up. Uh, and I think today might be the day we might give Addison a makeover. I think maybe Brienne should give Addison a makeover. And also we need to get more clothes for Brienne. Though I don't know if I do that today. I think she definitely needs more outfits because that's how like that's kind of what we're going with. Um I don't know if we'll do that today as well because there's there's actually a lot of stuff we need to do. And I think I've decided I think Addison uh because we sort of are playing the rebellious teenager with with them, they're the one that's supposed to be, you know, like skipping class and all that. The only reason we're not at the moment is because we're trying to get invited to a party, but I kind of want them to drop out of school. Like, cause I think you, you can do that, right? As a teenager to drop out of school and I would love him to run a, a restaurant I, because I'm so excited and it's so much fun playing with Dine Out now that it's not as buggy thanks to Carl's mod. Uh, so I would, what I would like to do, I think today maybe is have them drop out of school and then we'll have Reginald buy the Big Wallet Emporium uh, which has been the, in the family for genera literally generations since the very beginning. We'll buy that and maybe turn that into a restaurant. Though, I don't think we'll run the restaurant today. I think that could also maybe be like a mini series on the side because honestly, I think if we're running a restaurant in this same Let's Play, that's going to be the entire Let's Play. And I don't really want this Let's Play to turn into just a restaurant Let's Play. So maybe we'll like have it spin off on the side and it'll sort of be at the same time but its own thing. I think that's what I'm I'm kind of excited for. But anyway, back to actual Addison's room here. I had a lot of fun with this. So I brought in the bricks from the outside, which almost gives a very different vibe to the rest of the build. It kind of a little bit more industrial, which was my plan because if we buy the Big Wallet Emporium, that's a very industrial warehouse style building. So I kind of feel that aesthetic is what Addison is leaning towards. And that's what, you know, Kevin and Reginald have provided for him in this bedroom. Um, I, I, I think this bedroom is awesome, by the way. I would love to have this. It's so cool. We also need to get Addison working on the guitar today. We've had that for so long. And as you saw, I added some extra speakers for him. So we're going to be using that too. Um, I'm also using a little bit of custom content. You can see here those shelves and a little, I think a few of the decoration items that is from the Delicato Lounge CC set by Deligracy. Of course, I've got to support my girl. Uh, beautiful custom content. I love it. We've got a few of those pieces throughout the house. Um, and I really, yeah, I think I think it does fit this room really well. And all the, little, the new everyday clutter kit too, I think goes in great. As a change, as you saw the wall color, finally from that mauve to like a more brown, because I kind of thought the brown fit the more uh, in, almost industrial nature of that room. 
And that's it, pretty much done, but we'll have a closer look at just a moment. Now we're moving out to the hallway because uh, that has nothing in it and it's just been a big empty void for a very long time. So I was like, let's try and get some actual items out here. We'll get some rugs. We'll get some, you know, I guess some furniture. I didn't want it to just be a big seating area, which is probably the easy thing to do. However, I, I think I did add seats. Yeah, I did add a couch, a nice expensive couch too, mind you. Um, we needed something there. So I was like, okay, we'll do like a couch and maybe like that sideboard thing. Uh, it's it, Look, it's not something we're ever going to use, but it fills the space and I think it makes sense where it is. But that's it for the build. Let's have a look at the result. Okay, so here we are back in the game. As you can see, the old bathroom is now gone. It used to be here. And we've also changed how these stairs get to the hallway. They're now just sort of in a little arch that's recessed a bit just because I thought that looked a little neater than having the door right here. Uh, and then the rest of the space is kind of... Couldn't really do anything with it. I mean, I guess I could have pushed it back a little bit and had a bit more space in here, but I felt like we didn't really need to do that. So I kind of just left it a bit more open. Uh, and then in the hallway, we got a couple of items just here to sort of finish it off and actually feel like there's stuff going on here. Just a simple rug. And then the, this little entrance here to the main bedroom and a couple of the pet bowls we've just moved over there. So we have pet bowls on this floor. Now moving into Addison's room, I think this looks so much better. This look, this look, hey! Brienne's even like, this is way better than my room. Yeah, I think this looks really cool. It's sort of got the almost the industrial vibe with the bricks up there. Uh, some of the Moschino stuff as well. You know, we've got like the photography gear on the wall there. Maybe they're into that a little bit as well. Who knows? Just a little bit of dabbling. Uh, and of course, all the music gear, which we've really got to get Addison on that guitar today. And then the bed is sort of around this corner with the original posters there. Some skateboards up on the wall. I think this looks really cool. I'm pretty happy with that little desk over there by the door as well. Oh, is Brienne watching the, that TV over there? I kind of, that I didn't really want them to do that. The TV was kind of just there because I thought it'd be cool to have that above the computer. But uh, I guess Brienne likes watching it from there. Uh, and then the little walk-in robe, which I think is nice. I went with yellow just because I thought it kind of popped and contrasted the bricks a bit. A little bit of fun. And then the bathroom just through here. Nothing too special. It's just a regular bathroom. Not really any curtains either, but hopefully no one walks by. Um, and that's that. That's the bedroom. I mean, it's a heck of a lot better than before. And we don't have a weird uh, bathroom just here and then like 50 doors in this spot. So I think that makes more sense. So now we've got, as you can see, Brienne's room there and Addison's room here. I think it all makes a lot more sense overall. So I'm pretty happy with that. And this always a bit better. Now, I didn't get around to doing the playroom yet because... I'd already spent like about an hour on that other room upstairs. So I was like, okay, I need to, we need to play. The other thing I want to do, as I was talking about in the little time lapse, I really want to buy, oh wait, not a retail store. I want to buy the Big Wallet uh, Emporium, which is actually the Lady Big Wallet's museum now, because we changed it at some point. This is also just another structure I built for a completely different video. I'm actually not sure why this is in this world. <laughs> but it is, it's just a big factory there. Our Oasis Springs has just turned into like big warehouses. So what we're gonna do, so this is a museum at the moment. It's actually very expensive because it's got all the sort of uh, Salvadorada stuff in it. Essentially, we're gonna buy this place and turn it into a restaurant, which is, looks like it's gonna be a big renovation job, to be honest. But that's what this place is for. This has been so many things. It used to be a nightclub as well. It was an art gallery at some point. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So we're gonna change it to a restaurant. Uh, I think I might just have to place these things so I can purchase it. So I'm just going to put them somewhere. Like I'm just going to literally just put them here. And then obviously we'll do a renovation and make it make sense later. I just need another dining spot. There we go. And we need a chef station too. So beautiful. <laughs> $262,000. And I guess we'll change it to Lady Big Wallets. Oh, I can't fit restaurant. Uh, I'll just say Big Wallets restaurant. And if you have a name suggestion, let me know. So this was originally called Lady Big Wallets Emporium. Uh, and I feel like we could also maybe do some exterior renovation work because this was built in 2015 originally. Uh, so I think we could probably add some more details if we wanted, make it look even cooler. I quite like the front, but obviously we'll change that for the restaurant. <laughs> okay, now we're going to buy a restaurant. Wait, how much money? Oh, I don't actually have enough money. We're going to go 235,000. We're going to have to wait a few days. That's okay. <laughs> we don't actually have enough. That's fine. There's no rush on that anyway. Uh, where is Addison? Get back here. Thank you. We gotta do an Addison makeover. There's a few, there's, I, I feel like there's a lot of things that aren't really gameplay related we need to do today. So I think I'm gonna take Addison and Brienne. We're gonna go to the thrift store that we own, of course. Slash, it's kind of like, we kind of turn it into a little bit of a barbershop too. Because word on the grapevine is, you guys aren't huge fans of Addison's mullet. I happen to think mullets are very in at the moment, so I think everyone's wrong. But yeah, no, it totally, um, <laughs> 
They they could totally use a makeover. You also have a little bit of acne. Should we try to take care of that first? Um, facial cleanser. Brianne, do you want to browse? Oh, I kind of I can't just browse. I just want to. Oh, I can't really do anything. Set not. Okay, yeah, I can't really. Okay, whatever. All right, did we get? Did that work? Uh, I mean, I guess we cleanse, but it's still there. that's all right. Whatever. All right, so we're gonna say um, offer hairstyle, maybe just appearance styling, because we kind of want to do everything. Appearance styling. She's like, look, look, I love you, Addison, but. We really got to do something about this. <laughs> well, we got to do something about this. He's like, really? I thought I looked pretty good. I look pretty fly. All right, now we just put a little bit of this on and a little bit of that on and you'll be looking good in no time. There we are, all done. Okay, that's not actually what I thought was going to happen. I thought we were going to go into creative sim. Uh, <laughs> uh, does that not <laughs> go to creative sim? Okay, off a hairstyle maybe? I mean, I could just do it using a mirror, but I kind of wanted the nice interaction. All right, we'll just chop that mullet off. There we go. How did I do it? Okay. I mean, that does look better. She's not wrong. But wait, how did I do it before? Didn't I go into creative sim with Reginald somehow? Maybe I have to click on the chair. <laughs> how do I do this? Oh, wait, it's changed again. Wait, wait, why'd you put it back? No, it was so much better. Ask for hairstyle, hang on. Okay, wait, let's try it again. What are you gonna give me? This is kind of like rolling the dice. Whatever appears is what we're gonna have. But we might dye the hair color because I feel like this hair color is is very is very vibrant. Okay, what's it gonna be? Here we go. Oh, hello. Dang! You know what? Brienne has some style. That's actually that looks so much better. Okay, no, leave it. Don't put it back. Brienne, don't put it back. Leave it. Oh no, I think it's changing back. Oh no! Br oh, br no, no, no. I like the one before. <laughs> Can we go back? Undo, undo. She's like, okay, I'll just take a little bit more off, a little bit more. Oh, you're bald. Okay, what's this one gonna be? <laughs> oh yeah, she really did take even more off. I mean, that's better. I kind of like the long hair, the first one that she did. I don't think this one suits them that well. Oh, and we're back to the mall. Wait, what is this? I don't understand. What is the point of this chair? How, how the heck did I do it before? Am I clicking the wrong option? What is going on? <laughs> okay, well, let's go change them because the chair is not doing what I wanted it to. Oh, we can't reach that. Hang on, I'll use this one. I'm gonna go with the one that Brienne chose first before she changed it like 10 times. Well, she originally did that one. Uh, I don't wanna do that one just because, first of all, I don't think his hair is really that texture, is it? It's kind of, his hair is definitely more straight, but also Sebastian Big Wallet had that. So it's kind of already been in the family. I feel like it's a, I feel like it's a very iconic hairstyle to that Sim. Having said that, uh, did any of my Sims have this hairstyle? I don't know, but I think that's kind of cool. Is that what, that's what we had, right? Yeah, let's get rid of the patchy facial hair too. Like maybe, what if we just did stubble? See, I'm also thinking we need to like dye his hair maybe. Just like, they, even like that, like it's just, a, I don't know, this red, that red is a lot. I feel like that's just a little bit more natural maybe. That's too, or maybe, kind of want like a darker red, but that doesn't really exist, which is a shame. But I do think, I think that color is better. I think it's not too different, but like that's, that's a lot. I think that, yeah, that, I think that helps. All right, let's change your clothes. <laughs> I don't know if, is that, is that facial hair any good? Maybe not. I mean, they are a teenager, so maybe we shouldn't have a, uh, okay, let's get rid of the beard. That's too much. Just no, let's just go no beard. That's fine. All right, we're going to be super cool. We're going to turn up to school and Hillary's going to be like, whoa, damn. Okay, not this obviously, but <laughs> that's just what, we're gonna, Hillary's going to be blown away. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Hmm. Oh, I'm in the cold weather wear. That's okay. And actually, that makes more sense. I was like, everything's really bulky. Why is everything so bulky? It's because I'm doing cold weather. That makes sense. You know what? I kind of like that. I think that's cool. All right, every day. You know what? His every day is actually kind of cool. It's just because we've been seeing him in his winter clothes for so long, which is that sweater that I put on him. <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. We got, oh, I've got to change the hair in this one too. I forgot about that. All right, let me change the hair. That hair is also kind of cool. The, the werewolf hair. Actually, maybe we should do that. You know what? We, you know what? Let's do both. We'll do the... Hair that's like tied up, wherever that is. The cats and dog hair. Oh, this one here. So we're, we're gonna combine it. We're gonna do that one. Uh, I mean, with the hat, it doesn't really make sense. Let's go, so let's go, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of cool. I like it with this hat. You know what? So let's go for the main outfit. Maybe this one will have the werewolf hair. I know that the lengths kind of don't add up exactly. Like that wouldn't tie up into that small of a, uh, a bun, but I kind of like it. And we don't often, change hairstyles with outfits here on the channel. So, and that's also a cool, you know what? Addison is cool. It was just the cold weather wear I think people didn't really like, which yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, so formal, we'll have it tied up as well. Uh, athletic probably should also be tied up. Sleep can be out, very nice. Party, hmm, did we go, 
Do we go party with it down or party with it up? Probably up, it's just a little bit more stylish. <laughs> the cowboy boots, I forgot about that. Uh, swim, I guess should also be up really. Hot weather, you know, hot weather, he's having his hair out. It's too hot for this. <laughs> this outfit's a bit of fun. And then cold weather, maybe that, maybe that should also be down in cold weather. No, we'll keep it up. So it's down in a few outfits, but not all of them. Very cool. I reckon Addison looks amazing. Should we do, let's do some more outfits for Brienne while we're here. I'm not going to do many. Okay, I've done some outfits. Uh, I think they're good enough. They're probably not great. Anyway, there's this one, oversized t-shirt, sneakers, uh, little shorts. We've got, uh, th I pretty much just chose full body outfits, by the way, because I was like, I am not going to be able to match stuff. So I just chose all the full body outfits. Quite like that. Thought that was pretty cool. Uh, little shiny shoes. Look at those. Number two is this one. A little small sweater. Uh, some nice uh, sort of wedges as well. And then obviously the first one was just uh, that one that we already had. I think that's good. That's all I did. Uh, that took me so long just to choose from the full made outfits. That's what we're getting for now. Oh my gosh. Addison, you're looking cool. Yeah! They're like, I'm looking so cool. Oh, by the way, we should do our social bunnies. For, oh, look at all my friends I got by just clicking on the social bunnies. New post, new outfit, uh, energized. Let's go. And uh, Hillary, I'm gonna send you a flirty message. Ooh, feeling flirty. And I'm just gonna do a few round of friendly messages here. Yeah, look at, look at our friends here. We're just trying to make a bunch of friends. So hopefully we get invited to parties to complete our aspiration. That's pretty good. Messages. Uh, whoa, I guess that's just me spamming them. <laughs> Be like, hey, what's up? What's going on? What's up? It's me, Addison. I have zero followers, by the way. I'm gonna post about chess pack practice, uh, about being energized with chess. Pretty cool. No followers. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> Brianne's just gone to bed upstairs. All right, well, let's go back home and I'll bring both the kids here. And actually I need to choose my classmates. So I need to add in because I've just recently aged up Forrest, which is Hillary's brother. This is Forrest. That's Hillary, obviously. Uh, so I'm gonna get both of them, make sure they're my classmates. Oh my gosh, $11,000 bills. Okay, maybe dad should pay that. God, these, I, I'm still, am I the only one not used to these icons? How is that the home icon? Like, what is this? Shouldn't it be, I, that should be a picture of a house. I can never find the home button because I'm looking for the wrong icon. <laughs> anyway, uh, all right, Addison. Uh, well, if my plan, <laughs> we're an A student. If my plan is to kind of slack off and drop out, I'm not gonna bother doing homework. Uh, Sasha, why am I doing chess club? Let's get out of that. Uh, business, I guess. Quit. There we go. All right, Brianne. Yeah, taking a photo of that. Sweet. Brianne needs to post on social money five times. I feel like I posted a few times last time, didn't I? Or did I not? I was just trying to make friends. Post about the football game. Happy narrative. There you go. Uh, okay. I guess that doesn't count as posting. Make 10 teen friends. Do I have no friends yet? I guess I know everyone, but I didn't make friends with anyone. All right, give me a moment on social bunny. Just gonna do this a few times. Are we friends yet? Yeah, friend. Wait, hang on. Why is none of this counting? What's going on? I just did all that stuff and none of it counts. <laughs> Dang it. And auto light this room. Also, this one needs to be auto lit too. And I guess this wardrobe. There we go. All right, well, Addison, in that case, uh, can, can I sneak out to a party or something? Can someone invite me somewhere? I'm so lonely. <laughs> all right, what's going on with you? Go into full parent mode, have a child with three positive character values. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, you're working out, no surprise. You need to do your excellent knittables. Let's go back to your knitting room. <laughs> Knit. Knit object. Oh, that's right. We're still struggling to try and get it. Let's try a uh, cactus in a brown pot. That sounds nice. We can call both the pets over to Reginald too. Here they come. Yeah. Hey guys. Oh, look at them both. Oh, no, not a vet treat. How do I, I want to give you a regular treat. Give you a big treat and buddy. Give you a big treat. Well, a regular treat. Oh no, it's okay. Don't be scared of the TV. Here you go. There you go, little Obi. Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm coming, buddy. One sec. I was gonna see Obi first and then I'll come over to you. Don't worry, here's your treat. No. Who's a good kitty? There you go. All right, and then uh, calm down, Obi. Not Obi, buddy, sorry. Addison, you having something to eat? Um, still, whoa, very flirty in that case. Whoa, Brienne's got a lot of reactions to her post. Dang, new post, no, no, friends. <gasps> we actually did get a little bit of romance going. We sent another flirty message. It's only 9.48, you know. Went, oh, let's go. I don't, I don't know where that message went, but it went somewhere. Can I do a new post? Uh, uh oh, hello? Uh, game? Uh, oh no. They can't click on anything. Oh, I'm so disappointed. The renovation is saved, obviously, but the outfits I just spent like half an hour on. Ugh. Why social bunny? <laughs> I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it would break. 
Okay, it's good, it's good. I, I was able to do Alt F4 and hit save and exit. So we, we saved, which is good. <laughs> that was annoying. All right, let's try it again. New post about lunch. Let's do a mean message about lunch, there we go. I'm gonna tag Hillary in a flirty message and a public message. The heart wants what the heart wants, and this heart wants Hillary. Oh my God. No, no, why did I think that was a good idea? Uh, 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 bad idea. Okay, this did actually update after reloading. One teen friend, let's go! We posted twice on social money as well. Oh, okay. Brianne, you're gonna have to stop sleeping. I just wanna make you 10 teen friends. I'm just gonna do that really quick. It'll be fine. I realized I can just have a look here, see if we're friends. When the icon goes to that one, we're friends, so. Oops, I just sent a flirty message. Oh well. <laughs> hey, great reputation, just by posting and messaging people incessantly on social bunny. Okay, I'm now friends with everyone in my social bunny, which I'm not sure how many that is, because, oh, there we go, nine out of 10. That's right, we needed one more. <laughs> Can I do another social bunny post? No, there's nothing to post about. All right, sleeping. Yeah, waiting for my invite to a party as well. Click on an open window and select to sneak out to a college party or hang out after your sim receives an invite. Go to a college party. Well, I don't have one of those. Let's go sleep. Now, actually, Brianne, did you do your homework? Because, no, I didn't, but what, what? You're, oh, you're a C student. Okay, maybe a little bit of homework wouldn't hurt. <laughs> maybe we'll do a little bit. Now, Kevin, are you still doing your knitting? No, okay. I thought you might not have after I reloaded. Resume, please, let's finish that knitting. I don't know if I actually got around to brushing Obi because of the reload and all that. And then <laughs> but we'll do a little bit of a brush, very nice. Uh, I'm a little tired too. So we'll go to sleep after that. Brianne's just finishing off her homework. Very nice. And we've got a whole another day of school coming up. Oh, and hopefully Forrest should be there because then if Brianne becomes friends, oh, negative romance. If Brianne becomes friends with Forrest, then we'll have 10 out of 10, which is pretty epic. And I just gotta find something new on the T-Post challenge. Okay, we're losing, we're getting getting some negative stuff right now, which is usually just random stuff from Social Bunny happening. Hoping, surely I don't, that doesn't go down if I lose friends, right? I already made them, is that good enough? How's that knitting coming? We're so close to doing Kevin's aspiration. All right, Brianne, sleeping. All right, oh yes, eight out of 10. Good job, buddy, yeah. Let's do, let's do a rug. Let's get a, let's get a black rug. No, no, oh, I clicked on the rug. No, no, don't sleep in Brianne's bed, please. Brianne, you sleep in your bed. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Addison's pretty good. I'm actually gonna get Addison up. You're gonna practice your guitar. 12.30 in the morning. I mean, we're gonna start somewhere, don't we? I mean, look how cool they look. Got the long hair, got the guitar, got the brand new bed. I mean, not, I mean, they're not very good at guitar, but they'll get that, they'll get that. It's just a little rough at the moment. Oh. Feeling flirty though, hello. All right, back to Kevin, let's let's finish this knit. Oh, hello, chat with crush, okay. Be friendly with Brienne, Oh, that's nice. What do you want? Nothing, <laughs> and you're away. Oh, hey guys, you're both in the room. All right, do a little bit of playing with Obi. There you go, very nice. Yeah, I acquired the guitar skill, finally. <gasps> we could like serenade people at the restaurant when we get it. Oh, okay, kind of got something going now, yeah? All right, Kev. Oh, you're in a pretty bad mood, but <laughs> hopefully you're in a good enough mood to make an excellent knittable. How are you going up here? Playing with a laser pointer? Very nice. All right, after that, I'll get you to have a shower. Uh, you can go to the toilet. Don't really need to do any of this stuff, but it's good enough. And then you can go to sleep again. All right, back to Kev. Uh-oh, why am I sad? Oh, from the holiday. Nah, that's fine. You'll be happy playing the guitar. Sounding kind of good. I know, it's kind of hitting some chords. Nearly got another skill point too. Yeah, level two. Yeah, I'll strum for fun. Okay, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's that's good. That's really good. I'll let you keep doing that. I have a feeling this is not going to be excellent just because his, his needs are terrible. Uh, yeah, that wasn't. <laughs> what was it? Normal. Hey, my other rug was normal. Too. Maybe I shouldn't do rugs. That little that thing did well. Hey, buddy, what's up? Like, ew, dude. <laughs> no, Obi. <laughs> we have plenty of food in the house. We have like multiple bowls around the place. Can you can, can you go lecture him, please? Did you just drink that puddle? I think he just drank the puddle too. Do not drink urine puddles, please. I'll give you a brush. There you go. Good boy. Look, if you're hungry, we have two bowls of food over here. Hey, not drinking from puddles. Now we're just gonna make sure Obi doesn't eat poo. <laughs> okay, Obi, you come eat there and then I'm gonna go to the toilet. How's that guitar coming along? Pretty good. I mean, I think we've made good progress for the middle of the night. All right, we, we better stop. Just get some needs up before school. Although I would like to drop out. I gotta figure out how to do that. Do I just get expelled or can I like actually just drop out? Mm. Let's go to school one more day though, because I feel like we've got to, we've got to show off a little bit to Hillary, impress her, you know. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my gosh, you're out here playing basketball? Okay. 
Oh, you really got to go to bed. Actually, you're so hungry too. I feel like Kevin may pass out uh, before we get to bed, but uh, that's fine. We'll see. Where are you going? Oh, I forgot to look into the, the sync mod. Okay, I might. What I'm going to do, I'm going to lock for everyone but Addison. So no one uses his bathroom. And I'm going to do the same with Brienne once um, they leave. Okay, buddy. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to lock this door. No, wait, which door? Wait, where's the door? Oh, there it is. Everyone but Brienne. Oh yeah, people are saying that I didn't paint these walls and the stairs. It is actually, it's actually painted the wall below because it's over the top of this section. So I, I preferred having the tiles down the bottom than the little bit of wood at the top. So that's why it's like that. Uh, it's, it was really one or the other, or I guess I could put a wall there. But anyway, that, that's just what it is for now. All right. Are you going to make it to bed is the question. <laughs> Okay, Brianne, it's time to get up, take a shower. I think their, their bedroom's locked, right? Oh, I locked that door. I didn't lock this one. All right, what I'm going to do, lock for everyone but Reginald, and then I'm going to say unlock for a specific sim, Kevin. So yeah, they can use that bathroom. So at least upstairs, all the bathrooms are specifically assigned. And practice a bit more guitar work. There we go. All right, Kevin, you got you to gotta get to bed, buddy. Reginald's pretty good. Reginald's going to make another, what, like... How much was it? We need 260 grand maybe for the uh, for the Emporium. We nearly got that much money. Oh, be asked advice. <gasps> uh oh, chat with crush. No, I don't want to chat with. Oh no, Brienne lost her celebrity level. It's fine. Oh, she got one of her new outfits on. Yay. Look at this. Ah! Why did you walk in the room? I was literally. <sighs> and I'm leaving to wash my, okay. I'm trying to. Leaving to wash my hands in the kitchen sink, which is lovely and hygienic after doing it. Big one in the toilet. She's like, okay, I don't need advice anymore. I'm just really sad now. <laughs> I, I don't, it's okay, dad. I don't, I don't need your advice. <laughs> All right, let me get some leftovers after that. How's that guitar coming? Pretty good. Yeah, hey buddy, what's up? Both pets are here. Hey guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to give you guys more attention. Learn not to bark at Sims. Good job, baby. Uh, hey buddy, you want some attention, buddy? I feel like buddy just needs lots of attention. That's all. Okay, buddy's gone. Never mind. <laughs> I tried. Hey, you have your own computer literally just over there. <laughs> He's like, yeah, but your computer's better. All right, it's Addison's computer. There we go. I need to have another shower. Did I already have a shower this morning? Oh, buddy's back. Hey, buddy. Wait, do we know? Oh, it's Orchid Day. We don't actually have school. No, I want to go to school though. Dang it. Why are there so many holidays? <laughs> Did we have a holiday the other day that we didn't go to school for? All right, well, I suppose I'll uh, go get rid of these plates. There we are. So I guess no one's doing anything today. Like, well, I want you to go to work because I need to get money. <laughs> I need money. So we'll go for a little, we're a little late, which means we won't get paid as much, but you know, we'll work. We're working hard. Yep, yeah, good. Well, why don't we take Addison and uh, Brienne? Let's go to the thrift store. Not our one, we'll go to the actual thrift store because that one actually attracts teenagers. Like I want new teenagers there so that we can meet them. Oh, we got to do something about you too, don't we? All right, well, we'll sort that out soon. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, well, okay, you're not a teenager. Should we get some bubble tea at least? Might as well get it together. Are you a teenager? Oh, having a little browse. Very nice. Very nice. All right. I would like a bubble tea, please. Order drink. I'm going to get a taro milk bubble tea. And Addison's going to get lychee milk. All right. Who we got here? Adult. Adult. Okay. Maybe there wasn't that many teenagers coming here. <laughs> maybe I should have gone somewhere else. Oh my gosh. It like matches her outfit. That's so cool. Who's you? Adult. Oh, okay. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you, I guess. I'm looking to make teenage friends, though. Uh, why did, did, did I just get a flirty thing? It better not have been from you. Look, it could be social bunny. It's okay. We don't have any flirty relationships, which is good. <laughs> Often you'll just get random like things popping up and it's from social bunny. Okay, Addison, do you, you want to sit here? Yeah, 20 grand. Let's go. Who are you? Are you a teenager? No, you're an adult. You're an adult. Okay, everyone at this thrift store is an adult. Was, this might have been a mistake. Like, why did we come here again? I'm trying to make friends. Okay, let's go somewhere else. This sucks. <laughs> um... The school is good. What about the library? Maybe. Or if we just go to the park, maybe teens will show up in this area. I could actually just invite. Do I know Forrest? Oh, I don't know Forrest. I could just bring Forrest with me and meet him. All right. Now, what if we go over here? Yeah, for some reason, Addison never jogs. <laughs> Brianne is jogging. Addison's just like, nah, I don't jog. All right. Who do we got over here? We got a vendor. We have a vendor. Uh, that's it. Anyone else or. Oh, the prices have decorated their house for the holidays. That's nice for Orchid Day. All right, the pier is looking kind of rough. Okay, Addison's doing push-ups. Oh, who we got here? Oh, Asha. Okay, and we've got Kuziko. They're both adults though, so any teens would be good. Oh, hello. Older. Okay. Oh, young adult. Oh, 
Crumple Bottom is here. Elder. The Flower Bunny. <gasps> Teen! Oh wait, I'm already friends with them. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, screw this plan. Screw the plan of trying to meet teens legitimately. Let's just go to the Price household because uh, <laughs> Forest should be there. Okay. Hello, Price household. It's us, the big wallets. We're here to see, oh, okay, you're here as well. I didn't invite you, but that's fine. Here to see Hillary and Forrest. No, oh, they're actually here, okay. Hillary, no, that's Ava. Hillary is here and Forrest is there, great. Wait, I'm on, oh. I didn't realize I was already, that's right. Yeah, what am I talking about? We were friends in childhood. <laughs> I, I forgot about, I forgot that whole storyline existed. Well, we might as well continue the relationship while we're here. I'm gonna share a secret with, um, oh wait, wrong Sam, sorry. I'm gonna, wait, what do I need to do? Oh, first kiss. But well, we shouldn't do it in the house. Chat with crush. All right. Um, I will ask about that. And then you can chat with your crush. Hey, Forrest. What's going on? No, 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 no. For Forrest. Where, where are you going? Not about compliment. Wow. You really had a glow up. I like seeing the back of your head. Would you mind facing me? Compliment house. Where's Addison? What, 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 what are you doing? Go hot. What are you doing? What is wrong with you? I literally told you to go talk to Hillary. Your one thing that you want in life is to talk to your crush and you're like, no, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> it's too much. Hey, Hillary. It's me. Me, Addison. Ah! Hillary, no! Okay, save her. Save her. How do I save her? Hang on. Shoo. Don't worry, Hillary. I'll save you. I'm a, I'm a hero. Okay. Okay, Forrest, can you stop doing other stuff and do what I told you to do? Like, I'm oh, trying to be the... There we go. I, sh I, I shooed... Hillary, I saved you. I shooed the dog ages ago. Uh, can, can I talk about, can I talk to you now, please? I, that's just what I've been trying to do for a while. There we go. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, so it's, okay, there's also, this living room is, is bizarre right now. Looks like Ava's like trying to hold on to her teenage years. Uh, there's a flower bunny here. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, not play together. That's gonna play with, no, 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 Brianne. No, 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 I don't wanna play chess with you. I was just trying to play with Hillary. Leave me alone. No, no, Brianne. I'm gonna express my admiration for, uh, for Ava. Aww. Whisper about crush. <gasps> hey, you wanna know? I have a crush on someone. Uh-oh, she did not like that. <laughs> it's like, oh, you have a crush on me? Ew, gross. Uh, um, okay, well that didn't go well. Uh, what about confess daydream about crush? No, it's not gonna go well. It's like a deep, deep conversation. All right, how are you going? Let's go. What? Stop trying. No, talk, go talk to Forrest. That's your friend. <laughs> Get out of this conversation with them. You go join that conversation, Brianne. Wait, I only just learned that she's a genius. How? Do, we're like best friends forever, and I didn't know that. I'm gonna tell you an urban legend. Actually, don't I have to do something with that, about that? Okay. Why are we all talking across each other here? What's going on? Maybe, maybe a little bit of flow. What? Who are we talking to right now? Why am I listening to Brianne's story? I'm trying to talk to Hillary, and you're supposed to be talking to Forrest. Why are we all in the same conversation? Okay, she's thinking about her brother, so that's great. Okay, well, I'm feeling very confident. Why don't we... I thought, can, I, can I remove you from my group or something? Yeah, remove... Get out, get out of my group. <laughs> Add to group. Okay, so I'm in a group with Hillary. Can we... Maybe let's go sit out here together. Maybe outside, just away from everybody else. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then you two... Whisper sweet nothings. Hello. Aww. Isn't that sweet? Like, we're just friends. <laughs> Oh, there you go. A little bit of romance, you know, a little bit, a little bit of something, something. All right. We're we just going to sit out here smiling. I'm going to reveal a deep secret. No, no, don't eat. Oh my gosh. We have matching beanies. I just realized that. Oh, Ava, can you leave us alone? Okay. Thank you. I've got a huge crush on someone that goes to our school. <laughs> oh my God. Do I know them? <laughs> you might do. A little deep conversation. Okay. Ava, can you, can you give us a little bit of, a little bit of space? So what do you reckon Woohoo was like? <laughs> just ask about it. You know, bring it up. Just cash. Confess, daydream about crush. All right. Wait, did I do that? I feel like I didn't. No, I didn't. I gotta sit down for- Hillary, you're gonna want to sit down for this, okay? It's pretty big news. Oh, no, I'm gonna get up now. Okay, you get up too. <laughs> okay. Hey, I have a crush on you, Hillary. All of our lives. Oh, she's like, let me just check my social money. <laughs> yeah, cool. I feel like I didn't confess my crush. Like, do you know that I have a crush on you? I'm feeling very confident. What about a bold pickup line? You, me, Tunnel of love, let's go. Wait, I think it actually worked. Dang, let's go. I'm gonna take that as a, a yes to go to the tunnel of love. Okay, okay, dude, you're gonna cramp the style right now. All right, we're off to the tunnel of love. Now, Brianne, what's going on with you? Go discuss the latest books. That sounds fun. Where are you? Oh, you're inside, you're playing chess. Okay, it's gonna take them a while to get over there. Yeah, oh, wait, where's Addison? Addison, what are you doing? Oh 
So he waited for Hillary to get there, and then he's like, okay, now I'll walk over slowly. Yeah, we earned a raise at work, $20 an hour. Maybe, I think we need to jump on the treadmill. Not, not because there's anything wrong with a bit of extra weight or anything like that, but just the fact that he doesn't jog anywhere is so annoying in this world. This is like the one world you need a jog in and he just never does. And I think we just need to work out more maybe. All right, well, I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of uh, seduction. Uh, never mind, I'm not gonna do that, okay. I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of a blow of a kiss. Oh gosh, don't. Whoever wrote that, they know they know what they were doing. Come on, guys. <laughs> Corny jail. Addison wanted to make the perfect romantic atmosphere and the thought of cuddle cards would be the best way. What they were, wasn't expecting, oh, what they wasn't expecting. Oh yeah, they get, that's right. All the pronouns are kind of messed up in these dialogues. Uh, it was just how cheesy the ride would be, which isn't exactly the vibe they was, they was going for. They looks at Hillary, okay, I'm gonna try and correct this as I read it. They look at Hillary and try to gauge her reaction. They can't tell if she's into the corny atmosphere or not. Does Addison poke fun at the ride and add some flirty banter to try and make the moment a little more romantic? Or do they embrace the cheese and attempt to show Hillary a slice of playfulness? Mm. I can joke, because I, I can joke, because you could still recover from joking about it. Because if someone was into you and you were making a joke, that wouldn't matter as much as if someone wasn't into the atmosphere or the ride and you were being serious about it. Like that would be that'd be worse. I'm gonna joke about it. Oh, gained romance between riders. Addison decides to poke a little fun at the ride, throwing in some floaty bits to try and steer the conversation in a more romantic direction. Hillary is all for it and adds a few quips of her own. The two banter back and forth with flirty remarks, and the ride turns out to be a little less cheesy and a lot more steamy. Few things are more attractive than a great sense of humor. What did I say? What did I say? Gain romance and earn some comedy skill. Not too shabby. Now, how much romance did we actually gain, by the way? A little bit, not much. Uh, did you, I think, yeah, yeah, you did blow the kiss. All right, so Brianna, I'm gonna send home now, and then we'll take Addison home in just a second too. All right, well, maybe we'll, hang on. Well, we gotta have, let's do a first kiss, maybe. Maybe out here, this is nice. Let's go here together. Okay, stop trying to order food, please. Oh, look, see, look, Hillary's like happy and running everywhere all the time. Well, now she needs to pee, but before that. All right, here, now this, okay. <laughs> Maybe not the best time for a first kiss, but let's just ignore that and hope it works out. Now, if you could stand opposite each other here, that'd be great. Although I feel like you're going to kiss in the wrong. Yeah, you get, yeah. That's still pretty good. Oh, is it gonna work? Yay! <gasps> Dang. Okay. Seems it seems like we've recovered. It's like okay, I really gotta pee now. I gotta go to bed. I'm starving. See ya. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Imagine just leaving her out on the pier. Bye. Oh, thanks for clapping for my arrival. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. All right, what is this? You've got bugs? You're scratchy from an illness. What the heck? All right. All right, Kevin, you're in a great mood and you know what that means? It's back to the knitting. Let's do another one of those toys, that, that little octopus. Oh wait, we didn't do a toy. We'll do an orange bear though, let's try that. Kevin's having a swimmy. Whoa, he's going pretty dang fast, dang. Well, that is actually really fast, holy. All right, Addison, yeah, you're gonna get food, that's good. Rianne is pretty good mood actually, which is nice. So we'll go to the toilet maybe. Oh, she's doing some sit-ups, hello. Oh, we got a gardener coming in, okay. Hi, oh, there's nothing done, that needs to be done. All right, well, Brianne, you can go to bed. I know it's only 6 p.m., but whatever. <laughs> actually, no, don't go to bed. Where, where's Obi? I feel like Obi could use a walk or something. Because Brianne was doing sit-ups, why don't you take Obi for a jog? How about that? That'd be good. Whoa, I forgot to put that on her. <laughs> okay. And then Addison, yeah, Addison's gonna go to bed. Very nice. Kevin's getting a phone call, hello? How may I help you? I have a crush on them. Sure, go for it. I don't know who you are, but go for it. Hey man. Oh, actually, you wanna fix that toilet for me? Just repair it. Uh, bibbity bobbity boop! Yeah, go use it. <laughs> actually, speaking of repairing stuff, we probably need to upgrade these beds. Cause these are all new, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so we completed that. Did that count as one? Oh yes, nine out of 10. Let's go, come on. One more, let's do a, uh, what did we do before? Decoration, the octopus, let's do a little pink turtle. Come on. All right, Kev, this is it. This is like, we've been, this is the culmination of your entire life. Is this knittable? If you do this, you have completed 10 excellent knittables. Also, we've done a few legendary ones, which is kind of annoying that they don't count. Wait, whoa, you guys are far away, dang. And then after that, we're gonna do mattress firmness upgrade as well. Oh, he's going to the toilet. That's okay. You know, keep the needs up. As long as his needs are good, I think that'll help doing a good knitable. All right, let's resume, please. Back to it. All right, done the first bed upgrade. Very nice. Okay, Kevin, come on, buddy. Oh. Oh, what, you're sick too. Why is everyone in this house sick? 
Take the medicine, and then we're gonna do another knitting. We're not leaving. We've done all the knitting. Hey, Obi. All right, combat it is cold. There we go. All right, Brianne. Now Brianne's pretty tired. Putting that in the trash. Thank you. Then we're gonna go upstairs. You're gonna go take a shower. And hopefully by the time you've done that, Dad will be done upgrading the bed. Uh, or not. I thought he would be a little... Oh, wait, no, he's done. Okay, cool. All right, Reginald, you're pretty tired too. Whoops. And go to sleep. Oh, Addison? Where did Addison go? Oh, you're down here. <laughs> All right, well, you needed to practice your guitar. We've got to get back up on it. We probably should also practice, like, cooking if we're going to be doing a restaurant. But, you know, that will come in its own thing. All right, back to the star of the show. It all comes down to you, Kevin. Kevin living in the Home Alone house. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Whoa, how many points did I just get there? Oh, that wasn't even the full aspira- What? Oh my gosh. I thought that was the full aspiration. I was way too excited for that. All right, donate five needed items to charity. How do I do that? Uh, I'll just click in the inventory. That should be easy. We've got a whole bunch. So now I'm going to do a bunch of legendary stuff, which... I need a sweater legendary. Okay. Okay, there we go. We did that one. It's going to get rid of all these knittables. I've got so many. I mean, I could sell them or I could just do this. <laughs> just donate everything. They're like, stop sending us your junk. <laughs> All right, what else do I have to do? Okay, well, we've done oh, those two things. Five legendary, teach another sim to knit. Oh. All right, well, Addison's away. Okay, Addison, I'm gonna come learn to knit. Approach another sim. All right, I have to go up to you and say, uh, how do I, is it in friendly? Thu's about knitting. Oh, teach to knit, yeah, there we go. Okay, why didn't that work? Teach to knit, please, there we go. How long do I have to do it for? All right, Addison, I'm gonna teach you the family business. <laughs> you mean the business career? No, no, knitting, knitting. Okay, that's what we do in this family. <laughs> okay, no, no, you gotta do it like this. There you go, you're getting the hang of it. I mean, the skill's going pretty far. How long do I have to do this for? Yeah, I mean, it's already level two. I mean, it's going up. Wow, that's actually going up really quick, to be fair. Ding level three, holy moly. No, I mean, it's actually quite a nice little scene that he's teaching them to knit. Level four. Okay, this is actually, okay, this is actually really quick. All right, there we go. All right, now I gotta do five excellent, but I think I need to take care of other needs first. All right, Addison, let's get back on the guitar. Feeling very inspired from learning four skill levels of knitting already. That was pretty good. Okay. Yeah. It's, look, it's still rough, but uh, they're getting there. Only level three, you know, takes time. Text emergency. I texted someone, but they didn't text back. Maybe they missed the first one. No, wait for them to, yeah, definitely wait for them to respond. Um, also, you're supposed to be the cool girl. So All right, let's just take care of some needs before school here. I think this might be Addison's last day of school. Uh, likes video gaming, sure. Um, just because, yeah, I would like, I would like to try dropping out. No, don't, oh my gosh, wait, where, where are you washing your hands? Oh, remember how I locked every bathroom upstairs? Addison decided, hey, instead of using the sink that's two squares away from me, my AI is gonna go all the way down, which one are you even going to? Where are you? Or you use the one in here. I'm gonna go downstairs and use that sink. I just don't even, how does the AI even come up with that being a better solution than this one? Like, I don't even understand how, possibly calculates that that's a better idea. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> it's so bad. All right, hang on, I need to have a quick sleep before school. All right, I'm gonna leave this part here. 7.58 a.m. It's been a pretty long part. You know, we did the big room renovation. We had a little, I guess, almost like a double date with both Addison and Brianne, which is pretty awesome. Kevin finally completed the 10 excellent knittables, although now we have to do five legendary ones, so. <laughs> Guess we'll work on that next time. And hopefully, maybe next time, we should be able to buy the Emporium to then turn it into a restaurant. I'm really excited about that. I think I've decided throughout the course of recording this video, what we'll do is we will buy that. I think Addison will drop out of school, so he'll still be a teenager, and he'll run that business. But I think we'll do the running of that restaurant in a separate Let's Play, just so that when we come back to this one, we don't have to like spend an entire part of our high school Let's Play doing the restaurant stuff. At least that's my theory. Hopefully that works out. I think that'll work well. I think it'll work. But thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.